back in the kitchen. Now, talking about how to increase the bioavailability of nutrients in seeds and almonds and nuts, a really good trick is to soak them. Because if you soak them and leave them in water, what happens is that you're almost going to trick the almond or the pumpkin seed or the sunflower seed, the hazelnut, into thinking, so to speak, that it's about time to sprout. And remember that nuts and seeds and almonds contain lots of beneficial nutrients, but they're sort of locked away. So they're not that easy to access, they're not that easy to digest, and there are also some anti-nutrients as part of the almonds or nuts or seeds own defense against insects. But soaking will actually break down or remove some of those anti-nutrients, not all of them, but some of them. So here I have almonds, but as you can see, I also have soaked almonds, and it's quite a difference. If you were to cut into them, see the difference. Normal almond, soaked almond. You can see how much juicier these are. So what happens with almonds when you soak them? Hmm. No. One thing is they taste better, they actually taste sweet, but it also starts unlocking the nutrients and some people who are mildly allergic to almonds and can, who cannot eat them raw can actually eat them if they've been soaked and then washed. And practically you just keep them in a covered jar in your refrigerator with m enough water to cover, so you gotta drain them so you if I were to keep them in my refrigerator, I'd make sure that there's enough water to cover them. And actually almonds and other nuts and seeds can keep for up to a week that way. So that just increases the bio, or ma makes the nutrients more bioavailable <coughs> and will actually remove some of the defensive molecules that you can find in the almonds or other seeds that could cause you to have an allergic reaction. But again, if you're very allergic to almonds, soaking them will not help. But if you have a mild allergy, that would be enough. Now, of course, there are also some types of seeds that somewhat differently if you soak them in water they have flax seed or chia seeds or chia seeds depending on how you want to pronounce them <coughs> and with both flax seeds and chia seeds as you can see when you soak them they actually form this gel so it's all this mucilage on the outside <coughs> and if you add water they will soak up that water and form this thick gel so if you use this when you're baking, as an example, that would actually make whatever you're baking more, you add more fiber, you get more omega-3 fatty acids, both from the chia seeds and the flax seed. It would be more juicy. And as we'll look at in a moment, you can actually, if you pre-soak your chia seeds, or you could do flax seeds as well, you could also use it for as either breakfast or sort of dessert. So here I just have chia seeds soaked straight. Here I've soaked them in half water, half coconut milk. So now they've actually become infused with coconut. Or you can soak them with things to give flavor. So here I added orange peel. I also have green tea in here. So now the chia seeds have been soaked with that as well, which just enhances the flavor. So if you want more, both by, by, by an easier digestion, or an easier time digesting seeds and nuts and almonds. You want more nutrients out of them and you want to remove some of the anti-nutrients. Soaking them in water makes a lot of sense. Either discard the water for almonds and nuts, but for flax seed or chia seeds, you can't discard the water because they'll actually swell up with all this mucilage. But that also can be a benefit in terms of digestion if you're constipated. Bon appetit.